Hello genius people, welcome back to Manzurith and today is the video 2, part 2 of making Canadian dream a reality without any agent, without anyone. So it's a part 2 of making Canadian dream a reality and I know it's this video is really late but what can I do, this is Canada, I was stuck in snowstorm first. And then I was stuck in convoy. The protest convoy. Jovi hai protest to maidar hai. Main maje lene har jagah toh. Chahe main participate karu na karu. Par maja aa raha yaar. Jaise India mein wada farmer protest, Canada mein wada truckers protest. Maja aa raha par. Kyu Ramesh? Tera pehla protest maja aa raha? So anyways guys, so we are here. So let us start our video part two. This is a playlist which is focused on how to get here on student visa without the use of any agents if you have all the qualifications necessary to get a student visa. And this is part two where we'll discuss how to write a SOP which is statement of purpose if you are applying to an undergraduate degree or a postgraduate degree in a university because usually only university asks for SOP. The college doesn't require it unless they ask for it. So let us discuss that today and I'm going to give you an example by one of my friend Ramesh. You know Ramesh if you watch my videos. So we're going to check his SOP which he wrote after seven days. He, he took help from agents as well as well as he took help from his own databases and everything he combined to write a perfect SOP and he got admission in his first attempt in two universities, University of Ottawa and Carleton universities. And let's check what his SOP is about and how this SOP is great. And if you guys open your MS Word right now with me, then I'm going to teach you how to write SOP. And you can write it today with me. You won't need an agent, no nothing. And you can write it with me. And let's write it together. A perfect SOP for university. Let us begin this video. So guys, what we're going to do in this video is, first of all, we will discuss the format. So first of all, I'll just show you how to write a SOP and I'll give you a good format for writing it. So after that, when I show you the main format and basics, we'll go over Ramesh SOP to show you how you can write a similar SOP. So for first paragraph, there are mainly five paragraphs. You have to write between 1200 to 1500 words and not more than 2000 words. That will be a lot. So aim for 1200 to 1500 words and one to two pages on hardly three pages so in first paragraph you have to for example if you're engineering student if you are a business student or if you are a science student then it all differs according to your stream you have to find one of your favorite mentors and then you have to take his favorite quotation or her favorite quotation and then start your introduction paragraph with it so introduction paragraph in my case i took from my mentor which is ben parker from spider-man it's with great powers come great responsibility and make sure you always write who quoted this quote so that to avoid plagiarism and plagiarism thing which you guys know if you have graduated so this quote is by ben parker reminds me to do great things every day so just give a good quote and tell that this quote from a great scientist promoted me to come to science or anything else so just start the paragraph with this introduction and then as i said i was a student of commerce and then I decided, so you have to go in this paragraph, you have to write a good reason why you chose the field you are choosing right now. So I'll just say, for example, I'm a business student. I'll say that this quote in motivated me to become a good businessman, to go, become a good entrepreneur. So this motivated me to choose subjects of commerce in my uh, high school. And then I chose commerce in my uh, graduation. And you also have to give them reason that you like those subjects and you really worked hard for those subjects and the way you performed the projects you really fell in love with the subject and that's why you want to come here and do that course so this is basically the first paragraph you have to write it within 80 to 100 words the second paragraph you have to write your achievements your grades also how many grades you got in class 10 class 12th college GPA and if you didn't get good grades then you can give a reason like you were sick you had loose motions anything you can give a reason 
or you uh, there was a death in your family a personal reason you can share because if you get less grades then there's a difficulty in getting good marks right so just make sure that you mention the reason if you have less grades if you don't have less grades you have good grades then show it off second paragraph is all about show off your achievements and your good grades so you have to write your class 10 grades your 12th grades your college gpa and your sports and multicultural activities or multi uh, activities like if you participate in any sports event in any music competition dance or debates declamations then write about it if you did any internships write about it and this should last about 150 to 200 words so for now we are finished with about 300 words already we are left with 800 to 900 words more so the third paragraph is a basically an exaggeration of the second paragraph you have to in this paragraph you have to give emotional reason or uh why you chose this college and like in second, second paragraph you gave the basic like how many grades you got and how, how you did in your past life in this life you have to uh answer that why are you choosing this course and this specific college for your future life and you have to also mention that you can give example of good movies like i watched three years which motivated me to become an engineer you have to give a personal and emotional reason so that the your course coordinator buys it and he's like yeah this guy is passionate about his subject and he wants to study so this emotional reason you have to write in 150 200 words and which motivated you to study in canada fourth paragraph you have to write similar courses so this is really important for them to give a visa or give a good uh, offer letter to you because you have to write like for example if you are a business student and you want to study in engineering so you have to write a lot to prove that you did some courses in business which will help you in engineering because this becomes harder if you're changing streams so this is very important part of the video changing streams if you are changing streams then you have to write similar courses for example in business you get only maths english which are similar or um, Accountancy is not in non-medical, so maths and English in non-medical if you are coming after 12th. If you're coming after graduation, if you did BCA or something, you have computers and everything which also resembles your engineering things. So you can write about those subjects and if you're coming from engineering to business, you can only write about maths or English and that you are passionate about business and you want to change your stream because you uh, you like business more. You have to give them a strong reason and also you can also write about internships you did like if you even if you are an engineering student but you did management internship entrepreneurship in internships then you can write about that 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 motivated me to come and change my stream into business and you have to write that you did great in that so this fourth paragraph should last about 200 words so for now we have we are at 300 500 700 words already done fifth paragraph you have to write about internships as i said you have to focus more on internships and co-curricular activities you have to explain it uh, so fifth paragraph is extension of fourth paragraph you have to also write about fourth paragraph if you can't finish in that you can also extend it to fifth paragraph where you have to write that i did this and this internship in computer science even though i was a business student or art student i liked it more than arts or business and that's why i want to come and do engineering in this college and in this university and in sixth paragraph after 900 words you you can sum up this is like a summary paragraph and last paragraph in this paragraph you have to write your achievements education family dreams and finishing statement so you have to you have already mentioned your achievements in first paragraph and throughout the paragraphs of this essay but you also have to write it at the end like as i did great in my internships in my projects i was first in my class so that motivated me to come and explore more about Canada and to don't write that you have to do jobs here you are focusing more because they won't give you a offer letter or even a, a visa if you tell them that you have you plan to stay in Canada you just have to mention that I just want to graduate here and perform well with the other peers like with the other people I'll study with here I want to compete with them and I want to become the best student here in your university and make you proud and ourselves proud you have to basically sell yourself that you are a great student and you will do great in canada as well you have to sell that thing you have to also mention about your previous education again 
also about your family that you are these and these family people are in your uh, in your family background and in your family background there are like for example your dad is also a doctor engineer you can also mention that that you're from a good family or if you're not you can also mention your cousins that they are studying in canada and stuff and dreams you have to mention like what do you want to become after that don't say that you have to become a good doctor in canada or whatever just say that you have to achieve a good degree here and you'll come back to india and become a good engineer businessman or doctor in india and in finishing statement you have to write a good quote again that all the stuff motivated me to choose your prestigious institution you can use one line right now if you're writing with me then you can always pause in between and you can go over it back again and fill the paragraphs yourself in the last paragraph you also have to, you can write this line which i'm telling you right now if your college if your prestigious institution give me the opportunity of studying there then i'll surely prove to be an asset for your university and canada at the same time and then you finish the paragraph and your sop is done so now let us discuss and go over the actual sop which ramesh wrote and which is a perfect example of a good sop which faces no rejection at all okay guys let us start with ramesh sop so as i said in first paragraph you have to write a great quote of your favorite mentor you have in your life so he starts the paragraph with the great quote by steve jobs the only way to do great work is to do love to love what you do if you haven't found it yet then keep looking don't settle so you have to also mention who gave the quote and when he gave it so he mentioned that this verse is uttered by steve jobs during 2005 stanford commencement speech has inspired me since to find my passion and then he says that as a child i was tremendous aficionado of sci-fi films and about the tech they used to grandstand in those movies which prompts me to post such countless inquiries following day with my teacher and they just said that it's a simple fiction so like he got interested in this subject because of the movies sci-fi movies he watched and his teachers couldn't give him the right answers and just said that it's a normal fiction so this motivated him to do this course so you can write a similar example if you are in arts management or any field after that from that point on i constantly aspired my tech and ends up being certain all things considered once i altered my rc vehicle to make it land and water proficient vehicle so he gives example of his project he did that he landed a he, that he made an such an rc vehicle which could run both ashore as well as on water like in water so you can also give a good example if the projects you did in your arts business or commerce or medical and then in second paragraph as i mentioned you have to write about your class 10 12 and college gpa and also you have to write about any internships you did in this second paragraph so he writes his 10 class 10 gpa he got 10 gpa in class 10 and he also got his photo in newspapers i wonder if i got my photo in newspapers after 9.8 but i didn't so after that he also had his biology teacher set up and run a mini garden called kitchen garden like you can also write about any projects you did as i mentioned and after that in grade 12 in 11 12 he took pcmb physics maths and chemistry and then he also learned a bit to about coding he wrote about his language he learned in his um high school and his graduation and he got a good rank in je mains and he also got admitted in indian institute of information technology dharwad which is a great university in india if you guys know and so this basic paragraph he sums up in about 250 words that is main achievements in life and his grades third paragraph he mentions the main reason why he is writing this sob why he is trying to go come to canada to study this course so he mentions that this age is of gadgets and everything and then that's why he is promoted here and then he also mentions that he wants to find out more about this and significant reasons why he did his btech from india and if you are business student or coming to study management any course of management here you can write that you always need a management or manager in your organization for it to function as long as there is an organization there is a need for manager you can write this quote and then in third in fourth paragraph he wrote, writes about is undergraduate course he explains the courses he took which are similar to the courses he is going to take in canada so this paragraph as i told 250 300 words or maybe more 
you can explain all the similar courses or if you're changing streams the similar courses you took in your own stream and also you can write about internships so he writes his first year graduate course he was introduced to digital systems and data structures and python languages and c language which he's doing the same thing in canada so there's no reason for them to reject this sop and then he has math he grasps mathematical knowledge and love electronics control systems he also got an internship opportunity so he writes about his internship as a pcb designer at unique techs and he created this in this you have to mention what you did in internships and then the fifth paragraph is exaggeration of the fourth paragraph again he mentions he did this cloud computing which helps in batsman and bowler rankings for ipl 2019 and his further achievements in sixth paragraph he is an active member of technical community works at pcb his more achievements bus rapid transit system and then this is the last and most important paragraph i want i will go through this paragraph in detail this is the main summary paragraph what you have to write so he begins it by giving a brief introduction again i have got the flavor of some important topics of learn the mental beta course which i really appreciate and i want to cover those points top to bottom to acquire information and specialization in specific subjects which will help me establish the foundation for my career in quickly advancing gadgets industry so you can write the same thing in your business or your own arts field that you have gained all this knowledge so far in your previous education and you want to do this course to gain a lot of knowledge for foundation of your future so you have to go from past phase to the future phase in the first two lines after that the master of engineering course so he's talking about the course and college which he is applying to in this paragraph that this course in this college will give him adaptability to pick subjects of his own choice education plan undertaking choice which will assist him to execute knowledge acquired through the program and tackle some certifiable issues and then he mentions that it will assist him in kicking star for his profession and as i said you have to write that you won't do job in canada you have to write you will come back to india and you have to do a great start of career anywhere other than canada anywhere other than canada you have to mention it but he says he says that canada is the home for these this is cooperation which could be spotted for gadget engineers so you don't have to write that you ha- don't have to write that canada has these opportunities because you are getting this visa for study permit only so you have to just write that there are a lot of opportunities available throughout the world you can mention any companies in us even but not in canada because that will affect your visa chances because they'll say that you are you coming to canada just for graduating but also for doing jobs but you don't have to give them the hint of that you just have to say that you are just coming for graduation and after that you'll go back to your own jobs in india or any anywhere else and after that all that previously mentioned factors pushed me to look towards canada as an appealing choice to seek after masters so this is the end and the main summary paragraph of the sop so this was it guys this was the end of sop and also if you like this video make sure you watch the next video because after you are selected the course you apply to the college and you have got the sop written after that comes the main documents which you will collect for your student visa and we'll show you how to apply student visa in the next video and how to collect all the documents for the student visa and after that video we'll discuss about the sop for your visa which mainly people are getting their visa rejected due to that we'll uh, we'll talk about that in the fourth video and fifth video will be basic preparations for winters in canada and everything after you got your visa and basically congratulations phase so make sure you share the video with anyone who wants to apply and if you guys want to make a canadian dream a reality without needing any agent or spending any further money just by yourself so make sure you share to every people who want to do it and also watch this and share with your family and friends and make sure to subscribe and give me suggestion for any other video in the comments below okay bye